dormant volcanoes, which is over here, as well as Bunkabu. And as I said, we're going straight into the Waikiki Honolulu area. Then the captain will turn the uh, plane around and head straight yeah. in for the uh, Honolulu yeah. International Reef Runway. When he makes that turn on the left-hand side of the aircraft, you'll see the famous uh, newest resort on the island, which is called Ko'olina. There's a famous Aulani Hotel, which is the Disney Hotel. And there are three man-made lagoons there. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Hawaii is comprised of many ethnic and different cultures of people. And many of the local foods was created here by all the different ethnic people, such as Malasara's Portuguese meat soup, Simon, which is the local ramen, oh. also the local moko, which is uh, you have white rice on the bottom, a hamburger patty on the top, smothered with gravy, brown gravy, and an egg on top of that. That is called a local moko. So, for those of you who are visiting the island for the first time, you should try these uh, local foods here. We call them the plain lunch. Also, the complete lunch consists of uh, two scoops of white rice as well as macaroni salad. The economy here in Hawaii used to be the sugarcane and pineapple fields. Now, it has uh, it's been gone for at least uh, 25 years now, and now our main economy is tourism. So of course we appreciate you visiting the islands. When we approach, uh, head on to the run, uh, reef runway, those passengers on the left hand side will be able to see the famous Pearl Harbor military base. And uh, on the left hand side, you'll see also the well known Arizona Memorial. That is a structure which is a concave white uh, building. It's uh, right in the middle of the ocean, uh, well, the bay, the bay area. And a lot of people visit that area to pay their respects. I'm not sure if uh, the Arizona Memorial is open, but if it is, uh, you need reservations and you can contact your concierge to help you with those reservations. Also, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are returning home or coming back to visit the islands, welcome back. For those of you who are visiting the islands for the very first time, there are two phrases said here on the island. The first is aloha no kako, which means hello, goodbye, and I love you. The other is mahalo no iloa, which means thank you very much. Yeah. On behalf of your Dallas Fort Worth pilot and flight attendant crew, we bid you a bond. Aloha no kako, mahalo no iloa for choosing American. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you on the right hand side, you'll be, well, we just passed the Waikiki and Pearl Harbor area and we're making that turn now to get onto the uh, Reef Runway. Have a pleasant stay here in Honolulu. Let me come by. Welcome.
on the right hand side you have a perfect view of the Alani or the Kobolina resort area and the big structure is the Alani Hotel. If you can see there are three three man-made lagoons there. Also I forgot to mention ladies and gentlemen, whenever you're visiting anywhere in the world, one of the main things you look for is good food. So in Hawaii we have all kinds of foods. But if you have a rental, if you have the time to drive out to the North Shore, which is where the high surfs are happening now, these highways go up from 10, 15, all the way to 50 feet high, and they usually have uh, surf competitions out there. That is where I was brought up, and my brother is a famous, uh, in his younger days, he was a famous surfer at the Belsey Land surfing area. You have the Sunset Beach surfing area, the pipeline, Bonsai pipeline, as well as Halehiva area. When you're at Halehiva, there's tons of food trucks, all kinds of food there, and also in the very north shore of the island, which is called Kahuku. Many food trucks there also, and they're famous for their shrimp scampi with butter. A lot of uh, tourists love that. Um, how they cook it right in front of you. And also, they have a, the only hotel out in the North Shore, which is called the Kuhi Lima. They have a very nice beach out there. Uh, the Hawaiian food consists of poi, which is a starch. It's a taro. It's called taro, which is a root from a plant. That's their staple. Then they have kalua pig, which is cooked underground. Then you have lao lao, which is pork wrapped in uh, tea leaves as well as uh, uh, luau leaves. That is taro leaves. Then you have the lome lome salmon, which is chopped up with tomatoes and onions. Then you have the chicken long rice with uh, shredded chicken as well as the vermicelli noodles. Then you have the well-known halpia dessert, which is a coconut So ladies and gentlemen, if you like sushi, you are familiar with what we have in, on the island, which is poke, which is uh, raw fish, all kinds of different fishes that they marinate it in different sauces. So there you go. If you want to try a, these foods, you can hook up with Jermaine.